When Jesus lived on earth, he told his disciples about heaven. He called it my father's house and said, there were many mansions there. A mansion is a large, beautiful home. Heaven is larger and more beautiful than any earthly home. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. Jesus did go to heaven after he arose from the dead. While his disciples watched, Jesus was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. Since then, Christians have remembered Jesus' promise to come back and get them. Jesus said he would return suddenly when least expected. But what about Christians who die before he comes? The Bible says they go straight to be with Jesus. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Revelation, the last book in the Bible, tells us how wonderful heaven is. The most wonderful thing is that in a very special way, heaven is God's home. God is everywhere, but his throne is in heaven. Angels and other heavenly beings worship God in heaven. So do all God's people who have died and have gone to heaven. They sing special songs of praise to God. Here are some words from one song they sing. You are worthy for you have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and nation and have made us kings and priests to our God. Revelations 5, 9. The very last pages of the Bible describe heaven as the new Jerusalem. It is very big, with a high wall outside the, the wall is of jasper stone, clear as crystal. Jewels and precious stones cover the foundation of the wall, sparkling with gorgeous colors. Each of the city gates is made of a single huge pearl. Those great pearly gates are never closed. Let's go in and have a look around. Wow, heaven is even more beautiful inside. The city is made of pure gold, like clear glass. Even the street is made of gold. A beautiful clear river of the water of life flows from God's throne. On either side of the river is the tree of life, which was first found in the Garden of Eden. This tree is very special. It bears 12 different kinds of fruit, <coughs> a different kind each month. And the leaves of the tree of life are for the healing of the nations. Heaven does not need the sun or moon for light. God's own glory fills it with wonderful light. There is never any night there. Even the animals in heaven are different. They are all tame and friendly. Wolves and lambs feed on grass together. Even mighty lions are eating straw like the ox. The Lord says, they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain. As we look around, we notice that there are things missing from heaven. No angry words are ever heard. Nobody is fighting or being selfish. There are no locks on the doors because there are no thieves in heaven. There are no liars, murderers, sorcerers, or other wicked people. There is no sin 
of any kind in heaven. In heaven with God, there are no more tears. Sometimes God's people cry because of great sorrows in this life. In heaven, God will wipe away all tears. There is no death in heaven either. God's people will be forever with the Lord. There is no more sorrow, no more crying, no more pain, no sickness, no parting, no funerals. Everyone in, in heaven is happy forever with God. Best of all, heaven is for boys and girls and grown-ups too, who have believed on Jesus Christ as their Savior and have obeyed Him as their Lord. In heaven there is a book called the Lamb's Book of Life. It is full of people's names. Do you know whose names are written there? All the people who put their trust in Jesus is your name there? The Bible's last words about heaven are a wonderful invitation and the spirit and the bride say come and let him who hears say come. And let him who thirsts come, and whosoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. Heaven's God's Beautiful Home A story from God's Word, the Bible, is found in John 14, 2 Corinthians 5, Revelation 4, 21-22. The entrance of your word gives light. Psalms 119-130 This Bible story tells us about our wonderful God who made us and who wants us to know Him. God knows we have done bad things, which He calls sin. The punishment for sin is death. But God loves us so much, He sent His Son, Jesus, to die on a cross and be punished for our sins. Then Jesus came back to life and went home to heaven. If you believe in Jesus and ask Him to forgive your sins, He will do it. He will come and live in you now, and you will live with Him forever. If you want to turn from your sins, Say this to God. Dear God, I believe that Jesus died for me and now lives again. Please come into my life and forgive my sins so that I can have new life now and one day go to be with you forever. Help me to live for you as your child. Amen. Read the Bible and talk with God every day. John 3.16